Hey everyone, the newest release of Excalibur Obsidian comes with some quality of life improvements. Starting with the splash screen when you open an empty drawing, you will find some useful links here that I recommend you to explore. I think the most important improvement is with the tools panel. Now I allow you to group downloaded actions or scripts into groups so it's easier to find them. Let me show you how this works. So here I have my downloaded scripts and you can see that I already have a group for colors and one for pen magic. So let me show you how to go about this. First of all, you need to find where your downloaded scripts are. You can do that by going to Excalibur plugin settings and here under Excalibur automate script folder, you can look for Excalibur scripts and your downloaded scripts are going to be here in the downloaded folder. So let's open that folder here on the left hand side. So if I come here, you can already see that I have my downloaded folder there. Let me increase the size so you can see it better. You can see my downloaded folder here. And let's say I want to create a new group for my text actions. Then I would create a new folder here and I would call this text actions like this. And then I would move the items that I want to put in there. So for example, convert selected elements to sticky notes. This is it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click on the two files. So I need to click on the Markdown file and on the SVG file. And then I have some other scripts here as well. I think the set link alias is something that I would consider a text function. So I'm going to click here set link alias. And also I'm going to choose this set a split text by line. So now I have three scripts I want to move into my new group. So I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to drag this item and scroll up to the text actions. And with that I'm done. So now if you check the scripts, you can see that the text actions group was created. And this way you can group scripts and they will still update when there's an update on the internet. So this is all good and I think very practical. And then the last improvement or actually the last two improvements are that I added a set of helpful actions to the hamburger menu here. And within this, you will find also this action, the export image dialogue. And now I have this dialog that you can use to configure the image export. You can set the padding, the scale, the theme, the background. If you want, you can save these settings to this document, so to this drawing. Or if you want to keep the default settings, then you can leave this switch off and then this is only a one-time export settings. You can also choose to embed the scene. This means that when you drop this image into Excolidro. Excolidro will extract the Excolidro scene and you can continue to edit the drawing. But if you don't have Excolidro, then it still is going to be a PNG. And you can choose to save the file to your vault or to export the file from your vault. Now, note that some of these actions are hidden when you're using this on a mobile or a tablet because, for example, export outside your vault doesn't work on a tablet but on a desktop you will see these. And then you can click the button that you would like to perform. PNG to clipboard will not include the scene because when you paste the image, uh, actually it will include the scene, but when you paste it to Excolidro, that will not work that way. But now I'm going to export this PNG file outside my vault. And when I click export, you can see that my export dialog came up and this is my downloads folder. So I can save the file to my downloads folder. So those are the updates in this newest release of Excalibur Obsidian. I hope you will find them useful. Thank you.